One day after school, I remember I was I was right by the cafeteria, and I was just standing there talking, and this, this perfect stranger comes out of nowhere, walks up and says, Hey, man, you, you, you think about playing football? He was like, nah, man. I'm, I said, well, I'll see you at workouts when you're done with baseball. And I walked away. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> he said, that's the head coach. That's the football, that's the new football head coach, Sean. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I'm like, whatever, I'm still not going. I left the ball in his court. If he came, okay, if he didn't, I was probably gonna go find him and ask him again. Uh, my friend Jerry was like, man, Ty, was just, just come out for one day. It's different, I'm telling you, just come out for one day. If you don't like it, you, you can always just quit. So he came the day of the wood run. I remember seeing him and uh, we're running through the woods, they're jumping over, running all through the woods, creeks and everything. So. We did that, we came back, and it's, it's a fun, it's a good time. He was really into it, he's a fun-loving kid. And I, I never stopped, I never stopped going. <laughs> <laughs> This is his tire. This is his. Got it specifically for him. Flip it. Jump in. T. Y. Jump out. Run around. Flip it again. Jump in. T. Y. Jump out. Run around. And we're going to do this 100 yards down and 100 yards back every single day. He's going to bust my ass so bad that I'm going to quit. That's what he was saying. But as long as I kept going, he would keep going. I'm going to make sure, and I'm going to see if you want this. So I'm going to push you to the brink of where do you want to be? Because I wanted to find out if there was a person within here that is a tough dude that can fight through when it really, 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 really gets hard. What are you going to do? You got to work for it. You know, ain't nothing going to come for free. You got to put some work in it. And I mean, that's that model. I built that model back then. That's what I use today. And I just work for it. I had never seen him to that point where it was a breaking point. And in this game, as you see in this stressful part of this whole process, if you are not mentally strong, this game will destroy you. That's awesome, man. This is a, a dream come true, man. So you need, Absolutely. You need and everything. Absolutely. Awesome. Just need to make the most of it when I hear my name called. Yeah, I know you will, dude. I know you will. For me being back here, you know, I come back all the time just to try to inspire somebody. I mean, inspire a kid to change their life for positive reasons. I want somebody to say, you know what? I changed my life because of what you did and what you said to me. What's up with y'all? <laughs> oh, oh. hey, What's good with y'all, baby? Good, man. <laughs> Uh -oh. I'm definitely about to lock you up though. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get look. We're about to get these couple drills in. Michelle, we Michelle. will, you know, go get some ladders, start with some ladders, we're gonna do some breaks, then I'm gonna lock speedy up. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all dominate on three. One, two, three, dominate. dominate. <laughs> There's so much that comes with being an athlete and well, there's a lot of athletes that pop up on an ESPN ticker all the time for doing something negative. I want to stay off of that. I want people to say, well, Tyvis is, a, is, a, is one of the best players in the NFL, and he doesn't do this, this, and this. Y'all start there at the 20, the ball's gonna bounce wherever. All you're doing is scooping, toss it back to me. That's why I 
all these kids around here love him so much. You know, he's coming here to hang out and spend time with you all. This is always good to get out here because I remember what I used to look like when I was in high school. And it, they look similar to me. <laughs> so hopefully, you know, I give them, a, give them some faith. You know, it, it's not something that happens overnight. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get Speedy today at 101. <laughs> I'm going to get a little Speedy today at 101. He tried to jam me. He missed though. And I got off on him. He was chasing me with a rifle. It's pretty small. <laughs> He's small. <laughs> so he was, you know, it was small with hard. Us being from the same city, you know, that kind of can relate to me and it can inspire them to say, well, he was from Bedford and, you know, he's about to get drafted. So, you know, I can do it too. And that's what I basically was my whole message. All right, y'all, good work today, man. You know what? We had a little, got a lot going on. I ain't going to play you on camera like that. <laughs> we did, got a lot did. Speedy got lucky on this little one rep. All right, so we got to get out here tomorrow and get better, y'all. Bearcats on three. One, two, three, Bearcats. I don't know, Seattle called me today. <laughs> That's even closer to that. I can really come all the time. I never knew like how, how does the draft work. No, they call you and they tell you they finna select you. He's supposed to get drafted on Saturday. He's going to their track meet. The phone's gonna ring and you're gonna be at a track meet watching the kids? They'll remember that forever. Pretty sure the Lord is gonna put me where I'm supposed to be. So I'm just gonna you know, right here. We get back sometimes. He's definitely, he's definitely super in He's got you. see that stuff? What the hell is going on? Surprised Jerry ain't called you.